Hello, this is uh, Ashmedai, founder of the band Malakash, and you're watching Metallium TV. Action. Malakash started in 93 in Jerusalem. I started the band uh, with the intention at first to play black metal with Middle Eastern drumming and themes. And since then, uh, it started very raw, but we always had the Middle Eastern uh, drumming, and then uh, we developed it to our own style, which is, uh, um, yeah, it's our own sound. Uh, it's a, a combination of black metal with thrash, with our, my own way of riffing and uh, compositions, uh, with a whole uh, concept of Middle Eastern music, be it with the drums or with the guitars. So uh, for us, we wanted a very uh, pumping and strong drum set, a very uh, aggressive, thrashy guitar sound, and uh, Basically, it represented the playing technique. Malakash, in a way, is a concept band. I don't sit down to write lyrics and making one long story, but they're all connected. Like in Emissors, there's a song about my relationship and my view of uh, the city of Jerusalem, because it has a lot of magical aspects to it. So that has nothing to do with the Mesopotamian theme. I got um, a song about the Kabbalah. and uh, so, so there are different themes on the album. But the main one is the Mesopotamian. A lot of our themes are about the, what is, a, they're called the Anunnaki, which is the collective name for uh, Sumerian gods. They don't have individual names. And there's a theory that they came from another planet and started the civilization on Earth. So I, I consider them the emissaries of, uh, you know, the starting of uh, civilization here. Regarding the Sumerian words, yeah, it's the first time we actually use Sumerian words written for us, you know, not taken from a text. Someone, a linguist, wrote them for us. And uh, I think that was just adding to the mystique of the band and um, just uh, further experimentation. As for politics, uh, uh, with the band we distance ourselves. Uh, as individuals, each one has his opinion. I had friends from Palestinian Israeli side and I was caught in the middle. I kind of had enough with that crap. I said like, screw you both, I'm out of there. I'm an Armenian Assyrian person. And, you know, Jerusalem is my city. I was born there. There's been wars there before and there's going to continue. Uh, uh, wars will continue there for a while, I guess. But uh, no, I mean, we, we, we distance ourselves from... Uh, we offer fantasy, but real fantasy because it's coming from the essence of mankind and that's many people don't know because everybody is fucking hypnotized and uh, Satu Cut